and welcome to Monday's English session. So this week we are going to be carrying on with our explanation text that we had a go at last week that we did together and guided and like always in school um, you are now going to have a go at writing one independently without any of my help. So first of all um, I've got the symbols on the shapes on the board screen for you. Um, can you remember what each of them stood for? Now, each of them stood for a subheading, a paragraph in our explanation text. And it's really important that you can remember what they all stood for. So pause the video and have a test for yourself if you can remember what each of them meant and then come back when you are ready. OK, so hopefully you remembered all five. So we start off with a dictionary definition. So what is a tsunami? What is an earthquake? Then we move on to the early warning signs of whatever disaster we're talking about. We look at a checklist of things to do to prepare for that disaster. So once the warnings have come in, then the clock represents what to do during the disaster and the arrow is what to do after the disaster. So hopefully you remembered all five and well done if you managed to. So what you are going to do is you are going to use this lesson to research and bullet point some notes about your explanation text for this week, exactly like we did last Monday with our earthquake um, text. So your explanation text this week that you're going to write independently is called How to Survive a Flood. So it's following the exact same structure, the exact same subheadings as our tsunami example and also our earthquake one that we wrote last week. And so you need to make sure that you've got enough information for each of them. And you had a go last week on Monday at researching for the earthquake one. And so you should be absolute pros by now and at having a go. Um, so I've got the shapes on the screen for you in case you need any nudging and any reminding. But remember, you just need some bullet points for each um, subheading, enough to make a paragraph out of it, making sure that you're not copying straight off the internet what you have found. So to this week, we are looking at flooding, which is going to fit in with the rest of our writing and our topic, um, which also links back to what we did on our last week when we did our vocabulary collector. So that is all I'm going to say today. If you need to leave this screen up to remind yourselves of the shapes you can do. But for today, it is just making sure that you've got enough information to last you for the rest of the week, having a go at writing your own independent. So good luck and make sure you find out lots of detail.